Hello? Hey, call him, please. Hi, this is William. How you doing? Good, Paul. You got Daryl and Eric here. Hi, Daryl and Eric. How you doing? Hey, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to do this. Really appreciate it. No worries. Okay. So I, I guess to start off, um, I'll ask some questions to both of you, and then uh, we'll just go from there, create some dialogue. Okay, um, for Dr. Sherman, um, I guess to start off, maybe you can tell me a little bit about what motivated you to develop Stable 26. Well, it's actually a long story. It goes back to when I was nine years old, if you want to go back that far. Yeah. So I, I was, uh, I, I was, uh, um, I was diagnosed with, a, with an issue in my foot when I was nine years old, and ever since then I've kind of been a, uh, um, had a little bit of an interest or a specialty in feet, so you know I had my first job fitting ski boots and skates and, and running shoes when I was 14 years old, and yeah. uh, from there basically followed it to become a sports chiropractor with kind of a specialty in feet, and I used to incorporate footwear into my general practice. So I've always uh, uh, the term fetish probably has been brought up a few times, but I've always been kind of a foot guy, so um, it's always been important to me. No, yeah, no, that makes sense for sure. I know for, yeah. for myself, I had plantar fasciitis, so like dealing with things like that, this definitely resonates with me. Yeah. Well, yeah, well you know what? From a, from a sports mechanics perspective, almost anything starts and finishes at the feet. You know, we do a lot of work in the PGA, and, and a lot of uh, PGA pros and coaches right now are, you know, basically demonstrating or, or uh, creating a golf swing that starts and finishes with your feet and how important it is. So Sean Foley and a bunch of those guys in the PGA are now really, really pushing that. Um, from a skating perspective, you know, our skates and our, our skates are what allows us to put all that uh, energy to the ice. So, you know, the fit of our footwear in, in terms of our skates is really important. And if you've ever been a skier, uh, obviously a relationship to your ski boots is, uh, uh, is super important. Yeah, no, I think in all sports there's there's that, uh, I guess, relationship, as you said. So I guess it starts from there, travels through your core, and goes up, right? Yep, absolutely. Okay, and um, I guess, you know, looking to the future, you know, how would you say that Stable 26 is going to continue to be a leader in innovation? You know, is it going to be different materials? Is it going to be, I guess, perfecting different parts of it? Because um, right now I know there's the silicone insert. Is there going to be different extensions or... You know, what sort of innovation are you looking at for the future? Well, I guess, I guess uh, where we started was we've tried to redefine what socks are all about. Yeah. So socks to us aren't just yarn that you put on your feet and wear and, and be finished. I know there's a lot of sports specialty socks out there, and, 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 you know, there's a lot of people that talk about moisture wicking and temperature control and that sort of thing. Yeah. We're trying to define socks as being a point of interaction between how our feet move uh, in our footwear. Okay. And that's expressed, that's expressed through fit. So our innovation in terms of that was to, was to redefine socks almost completely. Um, as a company, Stable 26 is launching into four main sports, hockey, skiing, running, and golf, um, each one of them with different mechanical challenges. Mm -hmm. um, and as we move forward here, we will be moving into uh, other sports, uh, non-sports, uh, workwear, military, and, and other wear. So basically, we're expanding in, in multiple verticals that, uh, that allow us to take advantage of our technology with different footwear. Um, where we go from here is sort of why, in one case, that we're here with Eric. Um, I'm, so I'm assuming that you're familiar that Eric had one of the most highly publicized injuries yeah. um, out there, and um, one of the reasons why we're here is that there was, uh, um, Eric and I are, are starting a bit of a partnership here in creating the next new cut-resistant sock. Yeah. Uh, that we got together and basically said, you know, we could do this the same old way, we could just knit some material together. Um, you know, in light of looking back about a month or so, David Boland was cut wearing cut yep. resistant socks. Yeah. So, so it was a conscious decision on on my part and Eric's part to do something that's different than being than being what 
what's done. So I now have the luxury of having one of the best skaters in the world as my as my not only my partner in this, but also uh, also my tester and that sort of thing. So we're looking into some new materials that'll uh, will turn the cut resistant sock world on its ear. That's that's absolutely amazing to hear. That's actually one of the things I was going to ask you because I, I know there's been resistance to that. So I think that whole idea of accelerating performance while combining it with something cut resistant and still keeping that comfort and, and all the staples that you're kind of known for with your product, I think that's a really brilliant idea. Well, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I, we tend to talk less about socks than we do about feet and footwear. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the sock is what basically uh, is the vehicle that delivers our technology. So we can make that sock of whatever we want, whether it's nylon or Kevlar or Tworon or any space age material that we want to be um, while delivering our technology. So because we're innovating in a new, we're taking socks in a completely different direction, um, we're now looking to take materials on socks to be in a completely different direction. Oh, that's, that's perfect. I think that's really exciting. Um, I guess for, for Eric, um, just ask you a couple questions as well. Um, you know, say you, you know, if you were trying to get one of your teammates to try the socks, you know, what are, what are the types of things that you would say to get them on board? You know, would you go up to Chris Neal and tell him he's going to score 30 goals wearing them, or is it just more about the basics and how they've improved things for you? No, I mean, I think, uh, you know, uh, if, I, if I like the product and I'm wearing it, uh, you know, that's, that's probably the main pitch that I would tell other guys. I mean, uh, if, I, I, if I like the product, I'm going to support it. And, and uh, you know, it's not going to make anyone score 30 goals. <laughs> Neil, but, Maybe the uh, Kassassin. So, you know, like, just, like, anything that's good is easy to promote. And it's easy to promote if you wear it yourself. And, uh, you know, as of right now, we're trying to develop stock that it's going to be safe and comfortable at the same time. And, and uh, you know, uh, high quality always helps. And, and uh, as of right now, I think uh, going forward also, I think uh, cut resistant material is going to be uh, mandatory at some part in, in the National Hockey League just because just of the injuries that, that has happened. And, uh, you know, we're just going to try and find a quick way uh, to get the best possible uh, material. Oh, I, I think it's paramount. I think that's really important. You know, I know some of the organizations are starting to hand them out and trying to get people to wear them. Um, I think what you're doing with, with Daryl is very important because, as you said, you know, with Boland's injury, it, it went right through. So it, it's going to have to be something that's, that's even better than the Kevlar that are out there right now. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. with, you know, with the lengthy re rehabilitation um, that accompanies the Achilles injury that you had, you know, how, how important um, having the stable 26 socks, how has that been in terms of improving your performance or improving the rehabilitation, you know, while you've been working to get back to 100%? No, I mean, for me, obviously, because I had the injury, the, the sock is always going to be a big part of my equipment. And, you know, as soon as they approached me and uh, we worked on different things, and, uh, you know, I think that if I... If I don't like it, I wouldn't wear it, no matter how good it would have been. And yeah. I think just the comfort level and, and the fit of everything, uh, you know, has made it's made my day easier. And I mean, I spent so much time in this gate that, yeah. uh, you know, I need something that, uh, you know, helps helps me be comfortable and, and you know, uh, save my feet from, from getting banged up every day. And I really think that uh, what Stable 26 has done so far for me is just making uh, making it a more comfortable situation in my skate, and obviously that uh, that helps me perform uh, better on the ice. Oh yeah, for sure. And Paul, right? and Paul at the end of the day, uh, if I can just interject here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, I think our socks are amazing, uh, but uh, I really have to say that uh, Eric's twenty years of hard work and exercise and. Uh, time in the gym and uh, practice and everything else is what's made him a really good player. Yeah. Uh, our our goal is to make sure that he is getting the most out of the fit of his skates. And if he gets the most out of the fit of his skates, he's going to get the most out of all of that 
hard work and energy that he's done that, that has made him the player that he is. Oh, absolutely. I, I think when you're a consummate professional like that, it's every little bit can help. And so if you can get that better fit, especially with something like your skates, it's a direct extension, you know, to the ice. So it's, it's yeah. definitely paramount. It actually, like, I would say it's a huge, huge difference every little bit you get. So. No, and I can say that the same thing for a eight-year-old girl who is on the ice with a pair of skates that don't fit that well. Um, there's yeah. always room for improvement. So from a retail perspective, we spent a lot of time with our retail partners uh, developing a lot of sales strategies that say, you know, there's no such thing as a girl-specific lasted skate in the world. Yeah. Um, there are parents putting their kids into uh, footwear that's too big for them so that they can grow into them, and that's an obviously a challenge to fit. Yeah, no, for um, sure. There's goaltenders that have, you know, four to six skates on the wall to choose from. So um, I think that this is, uh, whether you're, a, whether you're a, a Norris Trophy winner or whether you're playing junior hockey or you're playing, uh, you know, a girls' Adam double B hockey, fit becomes very, very important from start to finish. Oh, for and sure. it allows us to express our game of hockey the best that we can do. Definitely. And, uh, you know, it's not going to make your hands better. It's not going to, you know. So, <laughs> no uh, 30 goals? Just, you know, but at the end of the day, that's kind of what our joke's in the room. But it's, anyway, yeah. it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, and, and um, for Eric, um, what would you say surprised you the most with the socks when you first tried them? You know, is it primarily, you know, just the improved comfort and connection with your skates? Or does it actually, do you feel difference in, like, edge work, mobility, or even skating technique? I think uh, the biggest part is, is the stability, I would say. Yeah. And uh, the big thing for me was, uh, you know, I'm actually a very picky guy. And, and uh, <laughs> I buy new socks every week, it feels like. Yeah. My personal life, so. But I just think the, the quality of everything has been, it's been really good. And you know, I, I used to used to be in a Nike sock, which is one of the biggest companies in the world. And, yep. and uh, you know, I think Stable Twenty Six has really lived up to all the expectations that uh, you know I had for them. And, and you know, it, it wasn't really a, a tough transition for me to switch over to it. And, and you know, uh, for me, it's uh, socks is actually a more important thing than you think. Oh, absolutely. I I played hockey for a long time as well, and it, obviously not to the same level. I haven't won any Norris trophies yet, but I, I definitely can understand that. That resonates with me because every little thing, it makes a difference. It's like sometimes you could buy a pair of skates or try something new, and, and it completely can throw everything off. You need that comfort so you're not thinking about it, right? Yeah. yeah I mean, it just makes, makes the everyday living a lot easier, not having to deal with, uh, with a small thing like a sock, and I think Having that problem out of the world, working with Sable 26 is definitely helping me, uh, you know, just focus on, uh, on playing hockey. Yeah, absolutely. That's the number one thing, right? Exactly. All right. Well, I, I think that's perfect. I don't know. Is there anything else that you guys wanted to be, um, you know, mentioned in the article or anything that you wanted to kind of say? Yeah, well, we just, uh, I just want to let you know we just launched a new website at stable26.com uh, featuring my friend Mr. Carlson here. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, so you can have a look there. Um, you're going to see us uh, launching into Canadian and uh, American retail uh, currently and uh, expanding um, over the next few months um, with some very large retailers. So we'll have a lot of things to be able to talk about here. Um, and then expanding to take over the world in, uh, in the next few years.